Garth Marenghi's Dark Place is one of those shows that either needs no introduction or is one you all have never heard of. In 2004, Richard Ayoade brought Garth Marenghi from stage to the small screen. Fellow Footlights alum Matthew Holness' character, Garth, a pulp horror writer, had already had two successful Edinburgh Fringe shows with Fright Night and Netherhead, the latter of which won the Perrier Award in 2001. The TV series, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place, is about a fictional TV series of the same name that Garth had written, directed, produced and starred in in the 80s, about a heroic doctor who faced supernatural horrors about the hospital he worked at each week. Holness plays Garth, playing Rick Douglas MD, as a male Mary Sue, the typical protagonist of low-budget exploitation cinema. Starring alongside him was his own publisher, Dean Lerner, played by Ayoade, whose clear lack of acting ability is frequently a source of humour. Ayoade and Holness perfectly crafted the comedy of the show, in which every few seconds has some kind of joke, from bad acting to cheap production to odd dialogue. Unfortunately, it was broadcast in a late night time slot with very little advertising, leading to abysmal viewing figures. However, it slowly built a cult following online. Although the Garth Marenghi movie Film 4 reportedly commissioned in 2005 never materialised, in 2006 its new popularity led Channel 4 to rerun it, release it on DVD, make it available on Virgin Media's on-demand service, and have it broadcast in the States on the Sci-Fi Channel. The same year, a few months after the release of the Channel 4 sitcom that would make Rich Ayoade a household name, they also released a spin-off show, although, unlike Dark Place, it has yet to be made available on Channel 4's own streaming service. So, do Channel 4 want to bury Bandsman with Dean Lerner? Is the spin-off really that bad? Or is it just a distribution rights issue or something? The series is a mock chat show featuring Ayoade's Dark Place character, Garth Marenghi's sleazy publisher Dean Lerner, as the host. In his penthouse apartment, he interviews a new celebrity guest in each episode, all of whom are played by Holness. The first guest is Garth Marenghi, who is there to promote his omnibus, his latest film War of the Wasps and his horror art. Next, it's Steve Pissing, a comically tedious former Formula 5 driver who has started an apprentice-style reality show with Dean about his car parts depot. In episode 3, Dean interviews Glyn Nimron, a washed-up actor best known for a Star Trek-style sci-fi show promoting a DVD of his autobiography. He next interviews Merriman Weir, an awkward folk singer Holness would later perform as live in her comedy clubs. The next episode introduces us to Amir Chanan, a master of the psychic arts there to promote his latest DVD. Finally, there is an episode about Randolph Kaya, an actor who was supposed to come on the show but died the day before, with four of the previous five guest stars coming on to share their memories of him. Much like Dark Place, Man to Man with Dean Lerner satirises retro TV genres, but covers them more broadly, showing lots of clips of fake TV shows, from reality TV to science fiction to children's television. And, like before, this is done extremely well. It almost feels like a sketch show in that way. This was presumably a much cheaper alternative to making a second series of Dark Place for Channel 4, but this could also just be Ayoade and Holness just wanting to branch out further. Matthew Holness shows off some impressive range as all the different characters, which is refreshing coming from someone who became known for one particular character. Despite the variety, all of them have a similar lack of self-awareness that is a source of a lot of the comedy. I found some characters funnier than others, but I'm sure that will vary from person to person. I love how the last episode brought back characters from previous episodes, where they are all revealed to have a part in Randolph's downward spiral. I'm afraid to say, on that particular project, I had him fired. <laughs> Marie hit on the idea of mental torture. I said, OK, yup, I'll give it a go. You are bald, you are ugly, and you do smell like a zoo animal. Sally Hawkins, what are you doing here? Speaking of cameos, fun fact, the Garth Marenghi stage shows were directed by future Mighty Boosh and Paddington director, Paul King, who makes a cameo in episode 3. Matt Berry also appears in one or two of the video sections, presumably still as Todd Rivers, Garth and Dean's Dark Place co-star. It's pretty strange to see Ayoade in a character so different from his public persona especially since he has primarily been seen as a host and on panel shows since the end of the IT crowd. Whilst the tangential rants wouldn't feel out of place on Ayoade's panel show appearances, Dean is a real sleazebag, so it's funny to see Ayoade playing him, chatting away about his personal harem. He's also portrayed as pretty ruthless and petty. I love that they imply that he's killed multiple people. I don't know how that bright cable became severed in 18 different places. <laughs> It's a mystery. 
no one was more surprised than me when you pulled through. <laughs> According to a user on Reddit who was there during the recording of an episode, there was a lot of improv, as they would do one run through as scripted before going through it a second time with improvised moments. He also said that IORD stayed in character the whole time, which must have been a lot of fun. It did take me a while to get used to the laugh track of the live audience, due to the laughs coming from moments that are, of course, not intended to be funny by the characters. Obviously, shows like Knowing Me, Knowing You, which has a very similar premise, have this, but Man to Man is a continuation of Dark Place, so the change of format takes some getting used to. However, I did get used to it later on, and of course it does make sense for IORD and Wholeness to return to their roots by performing these characters live. So, is this as good as Garth Marenghi's Dark Place? No. Is it still a good series? Yeah, it's alright. It's definitely my least favourite out of the three things I've seen directed and co-written by IORD, but that's just because they are that bit better. The show certainly grew on me as I watched it. I recommend checking it out if you're a fan of Dark Place, it's an interesting oddity. It took me a while to get used to the format and style of the show, but I'm certainly glad I watched the whole thing. I do like Dark Place, but I don't find it as funny as its biggest fans, so I'm pretty sure that if you are a bigger Dark Place fan, you'll enjoy this a lot more. So, what of Garth Marenghi? Well, Matthew Holness has not been inactive over the past 17 years, but he's not exactly been in the limelight either. In fact, when I show people Dark Place, they often comment that the only actor they don't recognise is the leading man. The only thing I've seen him in since was the first episode of Friday Night Dinner, where he played a supporting straight man role as a man buying a sofa bed. He also had a role as an IT guy in the office. However, he did write and direct a serious horror film, Possum, which, despite a very poor theatrical run in only seven cinemas, was very well received by critics, with a whopping 90% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. If you want me to review that, or have any other recommendations for stuff he's been in, let me know in the comments below. In 2022, Matthew Holness revealed that he's written a horror novel as Garth and proceeded to do a comedy book tour across the UK. I was lucky enough to see one of these shows, and it was fantastic. If there was any chance that anyone in the audience wasn't going to buy the book, then that was squashed by Holness's hilarious in-character readings, followed by a Q&A. The character of Garth is so strong that there's really little need for an audiobook. I can absolutely hear his voice in my head as I read it. I haven't got my hands on the latest one yet, but I'm definitely planning to. The first was a lot of fun. Have you seen Man to Man with Dean Lerner? Have you seen Garth Marenghi's Dark Place? Have you read Terratome? Are there any other One Series wonders you would like me to review? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to see me review another one of IORD's early directorial efforts, you can watch my review of ADBC here. See you soon! People can come to us and we'll help them, we'll, we'll give them money. Uh, you know, if they want money, they just come to us. Yeah, instead of going to a bank. Yeah. You know, we want to help people to help themselves.